if you want CR7 here and welcome to the season 3 finale of the CR7 fleet car series and here are our championship eligible drivers shadow is in the lead with three wins uh, whiteout has two wins as well as blue blur so whiteout and blue blur will have to win the race in order to be tied with shadow and if these two win the race they'll go to sudden death for the championship and see who will take the trophy here so the track is all set up so let the championship battle commence let's get to it and the pole sitter will be blue blur uh, the pole sitter always goes first in the next race so i'm going to show you something really quick the championship drivers are going to go first and then the rest of the field are going to follow behind them so let the hunt for the championship begin school uh taking the lead there oh hard hit there uh the rear bumper of half and half comes off as well as what's going number one another hard hit there So far, so good for our championship drivers. Um, Green Ash is going to be the last car. Well, old school is going to be first. I just have to push everyone over here to make room for the drivers coming back. So what half and half is going to use his one repair only, as well as Mr. Color number one. Try to get the running order as accurate as possible here without screwing it up. All right, everything is all set. So, here's old school. He's not a championship eligible driver, but he's just running for the race win. And here's our championship driver, Whiteout. Not quite for the lead. Here is Blue Blur, another championship driver. He rockets the lead easily. Here is hatch number two. Not quite into the lead. Here is Darkened. Oof, that's a vulnerable spot for him on the track. Here's Multicone number three. And he gets hit there. Here is Firestopper. Slides in. Here is Multicone number one. Our season one champion, uh, our season one champion, but sadly he isn't eligible for the championship this season. Not bad of a run for him. Here's half and half. Ooh. And here is Shadow, our championship leader, actually. Ooh. Takes that route. Here is hatch number one. It's Firestopper. Here's Smasher. I wonder if he's going to smash his way through this melee. brick wall full of cars. Here's multicolor number four. And hatch number three. Oh, hard hit. And multicolor number two. Oof. And here is greenish to end the segment. Oh, side swipes some of the cars. Blue Blur is going to win the segment. So, he will be first off in the next segment. Uh, Multicolor number one is going to be second, uh, third. Hmm, I do believe, uh, I do believe it's Firestopper. So, fourth is hatch number two. Fifth is Shadow. Sixth is Darkened. Seventh, old school Eighth place goes to Whiteout. All of our championship drivers are still alive in the hunt. 
Ninth is Multicon number four. Tenth place, I do believe, by just an inch. I don't know. Tenth place is going to be hard to. I do believe Multicon number two got the nod. I'm not sure. And then eleventh uh, and twelfth are going to be greenish and hatch number one. Put greenish in front of here. So half and half. Multico number three, Hash number three, and Smasher are eliminated. No championship drivers were eliminated during this segment, but some of that might change. We'll have to see. So let's get into segment two. Segment two and championship driver Blue Blur will start us off. Out, shot out of a cannon. Oh, greenish flips on the side after col colliding with multicolor number two, who was stalled in the middle of the track. Ouch, well, that's gonna leave a mark. And hatch number one, I do believe, takes it easy to try not to collide with the roof of greenish's car. That'll be two straight races in a row that Greenish would have a big accident. But thank, thankfully, it did not occur. So, uh, Whiteout's going to be first. Let me get the running order as accurate as possible. Put Greenish back up, right side up, and put these two cars out of the racing surface. So, Whiteout is first. He's one of our championship drivers. <laughs> Oh, shot out of a cannon, almost went out of bounds. Wyatt's car really kicked in the gear there. Here is Firestopper. Oof. And here is Old School. And uh, Multicolor number one. And Multicolor number four. damage there the door of multicolor number four's car comes off that's a safety hazard anyways uh here is darken oh and darken almost hits the door of uh multicolor number four and here is hatch number two he takes a short way around here is blue blur another championship eligible driver Oh, slamming into Firestopper. Did what he had to do to catch up to Whiteout. Here is Greenish with a tore up race car almost. Here the car is actually lighter almost. It's because his roof braces are loose. So here is Shadow, another championship eligible driver. Oh, not a good run for him. Here is Multicon number two. And here is hatch number one to end the segment. Oh, and he slams head on into Shadow. It looks like our top three are going to be our championship drivers. How about it? There's a lot of damage on the racetrack here. Whiteout's going to take the segment win. Flirting a little bit with the out of bounds area right there. So, Blooper's gonna be second, third's gonna be Shadow. Our top three are our championship drivers. That's pretty cool. So, Firestopper is going to be fourth. Fifth place is Multicon number one. He's already used his one repair only, so I'll discard the back bumper. Uh, old School will be next. Multicon number four will use her one repair only to fix the driver's side door. Yes, it's a female driver, just in case if you're new to the series. There's two female drivers in the field, Firestopper and Multico number four. Darkin's going to get the next spot. Well, actually the last spot. So, Greenish, Multico number two, hatch number two, and hatch number one are eliminated. Just put this back on the car. And Greenish 
says it's probably for the best he didn't continue on because as you can see it separated right there and the roof would come off if he had the slightest contact with another car <laughs> so let's get into segment three segment three and one of our championship drivers wide out will start us off Car number four goes to the lead there. Darkin tried to do the same thing, but collided with old school. So this is for the final round. This will determine who will be running for the race win and for a championship. So um, old school number four is going to be first here. So she will go first. Uh, old school number four is not a championship eligible driver, by the way. Nevertheless, a good run for her. Here is Darken. Darken rocking to the lead. Here is Whiteout, one of our championship drivers. Oh, that's not a good run for him. Here is Old School with a missing rear bumper. Uh, he says you he'll, he'll go on without it because he doesn't need it. Oh. And looks like Moodler is going to be next. Oh man, some of our championship drivers already in, in, a, in a pickle here. Here is Firestopper. Oh, she slams in the blue blur. And here is Shadow. He takes the detour, as expected. And Multicon number one is going to end the segment. And he doesn't even reach the other cars. Shadow's gonna win the segment. So he will be first. And uh, second place is gonna be Darkened, Multicon number four, and Blue Blur will be in segment four. So Firestopper, Multicon number one, dark, Old School, and Whiteout is eliminated. One of our championship drivers are eliminated, unfortunately. Whiteout's run for a championship has now concluded with him being eliminated. But it's all come down to Shadow and Blue Blur. Blue Blur has to win the race in order to be tied with Shadow so they can face off in a sudden death. So let's get into the final round. The fourth and final segment and Shadow, our championship leader, will start us off. Look at Blue Blur there. So here's the out of bounds area right here. If a car touches this, uh, it's basically uh, you're out. You're eliminated by default. But none of the championship drivers want that. So here we go. The final nail in the coffin for the championship hunt. So most come number four is going to be first, followed by Blue Blur, Darken, and Shadow will be in the Hail Mary spot. Interesting. Indeed. So here's most come number four. She has the advantage for a race win. She's not championship eligible. Oh, slamming into the uh, transition there. Here's Blue Blur. Oh, wow, that's a vulnerable spot on the track. Here is Darken. Oh, side swipes him and Darken ends up on his side. That's a hard hit. Oh, Shadow has many things up his sleeve. Oh, wow. What's he going to do to try to try to lock in the championship? And try not to let Blue Blur ruin it for him. Let's see what he does. Oh, and he slides out of bounds. Blue Blur will take the race win, I do believe. Wow. Yep, Blue Blur will take the race win. Uh, but now, these two are tied for race wins. So, this will go into a sudden death round. Dark ends up on his side. He's okay. 
Despite Shadow being out of bounds, uh, he's still the uh, championship leader. He was still the championship leader when he did go out of bounds. Uh, Blue Blur is the race winner. He'll be credited with the race win. But we still have a championship to decide. So now it's time for Sudden Death. Sudden Death, round one. It looks like Shadow's going to be chosen to go first because he was the championship leader entering the race. So, let the sudden death commence. Blue Blur is going to be first. Here, here's the out-of-bounds area. Just to get an eyeful of the divider. So we can determine if the driver went out-of-bounds or not. So, this is it. The championship deciding run here. Here is Blue Blur. He has the advantage. Oh, he hits the out of bounds uh, to, uh, transition there, but doesn't go over it. So here's Shadow. He's gonna have to do something to try to lock in the championship, to try to steal it from Blue Blur. So let's see what he's gonna do. Oh, they both went out of bounds. Oh no. Looks like we'll re-rack them and do it again, everyone. Wow. Both drivers went out of bounds. They are refusing to lose. So here's round two of, over, of Sudden Death. Sudden Death, round two. And this time the turn order is reversed. So Blue Blur will go first this time. It rotates between attempts, by the way. So let's get to round two of Sudden Death. I think Shadow might have slid into the lead. You'll probably see on the ticker on the right upper right side of your screen. Uh, so, this is it. This is to decide the title, I do believe. Yeah, Shadow did take the lead. That was a perfect run there. So, Shadow will be in the lead and Blue Blur will be in the Hail Mary spot. So, here is Shadow. He has the advantage. Oh, a near perfect run for him. Blue Blur can take it away from him here. Blue Blur has a big decision to make here. He's going to do something if he wants to win the title. Try to steal it from Shadow. So anyways, um, let's see what Blue Blur can do to lock in the CR7 Fleet Car Series Season 3 title. Flip Shadow out of the way, and that will do it. Blue Blur is your season three champion. Wow, that was a perfect uh, move there. Kicked flipped him away from the transition there. That was a satisfying move to secure the title. Wow. And the thrill of victory for Blue Blur, and what bitter defeat for Shadow. He's got to be frustrated and fuming inside that car you could probably see smoke coming out of his ears on that one so let's get to the championship celebration and here is our race winner and champion blue blur he is our season three champion as you can see he's getting pictures and being filmed but what better defeat for shadow as he got out of his car and tried to rip the roof off of his car in frustration but unfortunately our cameras couldn't catch that. So someone is consoling the driver of Shadow. He is super angry that he didn't win the championship. Didn't uh, hold on to win the championship. So what better defeat for Shadow and what could mean a newfound rivalry for him. So Blue Blur is super excited. And he just jumped off the roof of this car, and he is super happy that he is a Fleet Car Series champion. Wow. And he battled hard for it. And look, it's me in Lego form presenting the trophy. Wow, look at that. Go ahead and take the trophy. It's yours, my friend. Oh my gosh, thank you. He's going to grab the trophy from the pedestal. 
he's gonna grab it. Uh, try to grab it here. Here he goes. He's got the trophy with his dominant hand. He's a right-handed uh, driver. So without further ado, let's take a picture to commemorate this. And that'll do it for season three of the CR7 Fleet Car Series. And what a crazy season it has been. But I'm sure season four will be even crazier. Till then, it's Colby Ryan 7 signing off.